Today's Tuesday tip is how do late payments impact my ability to get a loan? So there's a couple of things kind of buried in that one question. So on, on the first part, when you have a late payment and a late payment from the credit bureau standpoint is really 30 days late. So you could be 29 days late. They are probably going to assess you a late fee. Most institutions would. If you're more than 15 days late, typically you're going to have a late fee. Um, however, they're not going to report you late to the credit bureaus, which is the more important piece of the puzzle, until you're actually full 30 days late. So if you did miss a payment, if you are late on a payment, um, if you're not 30 days late, please don't stress. Okay, You're, you're not going to be impacted at all. Um, once you're 30 days late is when the credit bureaus, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax will report you late. Uh, so that's going to have an immediate impact on your credit score. The only thing you can really do to improve your credit score there is get current and stay current. There's really nothing else you can do. You can go and you can beg and you can plead with the creditor and see if they'll remove that late. In my experience, there's kind of... <laughs> not super successful most of the time. You can certainly try, no reason not to try, but it doesn't have a high success rate. Um, now, one single late payment is not gonna destroy your credit unless you have a very lean, a very thin credit history as a whole, okay? So set that aside. There are certain instances where having a late could actually make it so you cannot obtain a mortgage at all. Now, those have to be significant late. So if you're looking at a government-backed loan, you can't be late on any government debt can't be delayed on government student loans, for instance, okay? So that's one instance where a late payment might make it so you can no longer get um, mortgages, uh, especially if you're currently late with a government loan. Also, collections, if they're significant, more than several thousand dollars, um, that late payment uh, may have made it so you can no longer get mortgages without bringing that collection paid off, uh, making sure that they are taken care of. Um, judgments, tax liens. Anytime you have a judgment, it is the government after you for money. You are legally owing somebody money. Uh, outstanding child support, outstanding spousal maintenance, uh, tax liens, you lost a court case. Um, anytime you have a judgment um, outstanding, that is going to have to be paid off before you can possibly proceed with a mortgage. After all, mor all mortgages in one way or another are government backed. Either they're backed by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which are government sponsored enterprises, they're actually backed by the government, FHA, VA, USDA, or it's a portfolio loan, in which case, guess what? We're federally insured. So um, the government doesn't like people going and getting a government backed mortgage in any way, shape, or form if you owe money per the government. So that's kind of where they get you. Hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.